Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own welcome mat. For this project, I'm going to be using a Cricut machine to help with the stencil. For the Cricut, you'll need the Cricut machine, a permanent or temporary vinyl, transfer paper, and a cutting mat. For the actual mat, you'll need the doormat, outdoor acrylic paint, a foam paintbrush, and a hairdryer. I'm going to begin by cutting out my design on my Cricut. I've already gone ahead and created the design in their studio, but what I didn't account for was the text being so large to fit the welcome mat that it would be too big for my 12 by 12 Cricut mat. So I created an 11.5 by 11.5 inch square using the shape tool and covered as much of the text as I could. Then I used the splice tool to split my text into three different cuts. Once this was done, I was able to move ahead with the project and cut it out on white vinyl. Usually we're using the letters from the cut. I've never used the machine to stencil before, so I need to remember that as I start weeding. Now that we have our stencil, I'm going to pick it up with my transfer tape and place it where I want on the mat. Up until this part, it was pretty easy, but the transfer was rough. The first time I tried to transfer, I ended up destroying my stencil, and that's even with the less sticky transfer tape, which honestly didn't seem any less sticky. The problem is, the vinyl doesn't really stick to the core mat, so you really have to take your time and hold down the stencil as you're removing the transfer tape. Just go into it knowing that this is going to take a while. I also originally started with the left side of my text and was really struggling to get the angle right. To avoid the text from coming off the mat at the top, I regrouped and started on the right side and worked my way backwards. This ended up working much better. I've read about the hair dryer trick on a few different blogs and it seems to really work well. So I grabbed my rarely used hair dryer and lightly heated up the vinyl so it stuck to the doormat. I put the hair dryer on high at first and this was a very poor decision. Keeping it on low still gave enough heat but didn't blow the vinyl. Then I just pressed it lightly with my hand to get it to stick. When you start painting, make sure you blot the paint on in an up and down motion. I really globbed it on thick because this mat is absorbent. While I was doing the painting, I was pretty hesitant, but you don't have to worry about the paint bleeding into the mat as long as you blot. Keep applying until you don't see any more of the brown mat anymore. To be honest, I could still see some on the sides, but I was too nervous to overdo it and screw it up, so I left a little brown. Once the painting is complete, take the stencil off immediately. I know this sounds like a terrible idea, you're gonna be really hesitant, but you don't have to worry about messing it up. The vinyl comes right up and it doesn't leave any residue. Next, you leave it to dry for 24 to 48 hours. After 24 hours, my mat still looked a little wet, so I went for the full 48 hours. I've also heard of sealing the welcome mat with a UV resistant clear sealer, which I have not done. So we'll see how long this lasts and maybe we'll do it on the next one. And here we are, your very own custom welcome mat. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and be on the lookout for more videos.